Hello everybody, it's Amel, and today I'm going to teach you how to solve boats to save people. The ice person has weight people so by, and each boat can carry a maximum weight of limit. Each boat carries at most two people at the same time, provided that some of the weight of those people is at most limit. Return the minimum number of boats to carry every given person. It is guaranteed each person can be carried by a boat. So here they give you several examples. Example 1, this is the input. So you have two people, one person has weight 1 and the other person has weight 2 and the limit for each boat is 3. So how many boats do you need? What's the minimum number of boats? 1. In one boat you can carry both people at the same time because the total weight is 3 and the limit is 3. Example number 2, these are the people that you have and the limit is 3. So how many boats do you need? What's the minimum number of boats? It's three. In one boat, you can carry these two people. So one plus two is three, so that's good. In another boat, you can carry this person with weight two. And in the other boat, you can carry this person with weight three. So in total, the minimum number of boats that you need in this case is three. Example three, these are the people that you have and the limit equals five. So in this case, you need four boats. You need this a boat for this person with weight 3, a boat for this person with weight 3, a boat for this person with weight 4, and a boat for this person with weight 5. So there's no way to combine people here. There's no way to combine two people here in order to um, into one boat. Because if I did that, then I would exceed the limit. So every person here needs his or her own boat. So how can we solve this problem? Um, for this problem, we can use a greedy approach and a two-pointer approach. So the key here is that we want to combine a skinny person with a fat person. So because we want to find the minimum number of boats, we want to try to get the fattest person in a boat. And also, we want to actually include the thinnest person in the same boat as well. So we can sort the array the people array in ascending order and in that way the thinnest person will be the first person and the fattest person will be the last person. We always include the fattest person because the limit of, of a boat is given by the fattest person that you have. For example here the limit is 3 and the fattest person that you have is 3. So the fattest person by, itself, by himself or herself will always fit in the boat and then you, you, you check if you can actually include a thin person as well. So that's the main idea here. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how to write the code. First, I need to sort the input array. So arrays.sort people. Then I need integer left, gets a value of zero. Right, gets a value of people that length minus one. And the final result, which is the number of votes that I need, gets a value of zero. So while left is less than or equal to right, as long as I have people left to examine, I will say if the weight of the thinnest person plus the weight of the fattest person is less than or equal to the limit, that means that I can include a fat person with a skinny person in the same boat. So I say plus plus left to discard this thin person to discard this skinny person because I have included this skinny, per this skinny person already. So I can increment the left. Every time I will include a fat person because the fat person will always be able to be in a boat by himself or with a skinny person. So every time I, I, I include a fat person in the boat. So minus minus right. And if I can include a skinny person, I also include a skinny person. So that's why I check if I can include a skinny person as well. And then, every time I use a boat, I increment the final result, which is the number of boats that I need, the minimum number of boats that I need. So plus plus, final result. And at the end, I just return the final result. So I will run the code. All right, I will submit my solution.
All right, this is working perfectly. 90 milliseconds faster than 95.80% of Java Online submissions for both to save people. So this solution is working perfectly. The time complexity is big O n log n, where n is the length of the array. So because we have to sort the array, that's why the time complexity is big O n log n, and we're using a greedy algorithm. So if you like this video, please press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And see you next time.